Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've just got back from France. I was visiting my mum over near Limoges, which is about halfway down France, and it was cold. I had four nights there, and it was colder in France, right the way down, halfway down France. It was colder there than it was even here. So I've just got back this evening, and I'm quite tired, but... I had to talk to you and show you some new stuff that I've got from Tion Reinfeld. So it's here, I've not even touched it. I have literally just got in, fed the cat, had some food. That's it, I've done nothing else. Put on some tinted lip balm. That's about the effort that I make for you guys. So I hope you appreciate it. Uh, yeah, but I really wanted to smell these and I wasn't going to not do a video. So I haven't made the most effort here. I can't even be bothered to do it out in the other room because it's a bit more comfortable in this room. <laughs> um, I'll tell you why I placed the order. So I'm just undoing it now. Just scissoring up the plastic stuff. So the reason I placed the order at this particular time is because there was... Uh, four new fragrances that Tion had said that everyone who orders a full bottle from her website will receive four samples of the four new fragrances and I just thought well I've been meaning to buy this particular fragrance for a while so why not do it now and get the opportunity to sample these four uh, brand new fragrances because they sound so amazing so that's what I did I placed an order and uh, if you don't know Tien Reinfeld is an all-natural perfumer based over in Australia and I have to say this this got to me so quickly it's less than a week it's got from Australia to the UK it's got some packing peanuts which have just fallen on the floor so I will tip some of those out beside me and I will show you what I ordered first of all and I think we will have a smell of it as well so here's the box I nearly said bottle it's clearly a, a bottle in there but this is the box and as you can see it says handcrafted absolute parfum Australia Tone Reinfeld oh nearly dropped it Small batch artisanal fragrance handmade from botanical ingredients. No animal testing ingredients. Blah de blah de blah. So let's see if we can get in here. So very tightly cellophane on. This one is called, it's on the top of the box. So I'm going to show you. Can you see it? It's called Sacred Ground Nectar. So I already have Sacred Ground. I love it. I've used about half of it. I'm a little bit sparing with it these days because I'm nearly out. And this one is a flanker, although I don't think it's going to be that dissimilar. And Tion was a little worried when I placed the order that I was going to be disappointed by how similar it, all, it is to Sacred Ground. But I said to Tion, and I'll say to you as well, I love Sacred Ground so much that if it's not that different, it's no big deal. Having this will then make me feel safer to use it uh, more often. So we will see. We'll see if there's much difference. So my understanding is this version has more of the Baronia, which is the floral that's in Sacred Ground, less of the honey. I think which is like a honey honey um, honey sort of smelling uh, botanical uh, so we shall see oh nice bottle the color is different it's not as dark as the original sacred ground beautiful simplistic presentation you have a, a real wooden cap there so I think we're well, gonna spray this one on the back of this hand and it's just a quick first impressions just to see what I think. Pop that one there. I can smell it in the air. 
So I would say I'm instantly getting a little bit of an animalic feel from this. Now, there are no animal notes in here, then there definitely won't be any animal products. But that might be the honey, because honey can sometimes give a slightly pissy thing. I don't know if it is. I would say that it's similar, quite similar to Sacred Ground, but at the moment it's different enough that I'm, I'm kind of excited. Definitely liking it. I really do feel an animalic fur, 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 fur. I feel an animalic fur, like a, a literally like kitten fur. So it's a nice animalic tone. It still does smell honeyed. I also feel like I smell incense, like a honeyed incense. And it does feel more floral. Maybe it's less sharp. So there's a quite a quite a strong citrusy freshness, lemony citrusy freshness in Sacred Ground. And it's here, but it feels like like it's mellowed out. And I feel that Tion sweet ambery base that takes me back a little bit to when I first smelled embers. It's not the same as embers, but I feel like there's something in common. Now I know there's a lot of sandalwood in here. So it might be that. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm really, really pleased with it. I'm loving the fact that it actually is different enough from the original Sacred Ground at the moment based on first impressions but this feels i don't know if it's lighter or fresher because it's also it's making me think of incense whereas sacred ground didn't make me think of incense oh it's beautiful i'm really really happy with it if you want a side by side my tion fans you probably will if you want a side by side let me know in the comments and i will do that for now, I'm really happy to say that it's, it is similar and I love it, but it's not that similar that um, it's redundant or, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with that. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. It's reminding me of some of my, my other favourites from Tion, like Body Tree a little mm. bit. Um, I don't know why. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, I want to drown myself in it. Yeah, really happy. So that one is Sacred Ground Nectar. And then let's see if we can find these samples in here. Oh, here we are. Oh, here we are. So these are the brand new fragrances. There are four of them. They are called the Four Flames. That is the name. Look how beautiful this packaging is. There's so much attention to detail, but it's nothing OTT. As you can see, the uh, paper is I guess it's probably recycled certainly recyclable I know Tien does care about all of that sort of stuff there's nothing excessive or extravagant but it's just simplistic but beautifully done with attention to detail so there is the sample set box and I'm <laughs> trying to pull up the the end and here we have, oh, that's nice. Beautiful little velvety sample pouch. I love that. I mean, totally use that for something else, I'm sure. Uh, not sure what, maybe something something for traveling. Travel. It's a, it's a little travel pouch for something, isn't it? And so here are the samples. We're just gonna do whatever comes first out of the packet so we have Nui. I've just had a quick squiz at Tion's Instagram to remind myself what um, what the general gist of these are. Now Nui is that <laughs> but I can't remember is Nui the rose one? I don't think so. Um, I can't remember. I forgot to bring paper strips so we're going to go on to we are going to go into the packing peanuts. I've done it before. I'll do it again. So Nui. You see there's a good colour on that. 
Nui, is this the one with the myrrh? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And Tion has made a video on these four fragrances and it's on her channel. So I will actually link that below because it's really interesting. Tion doesn't want to give away all the notes and she doesn't she doesn't envisage people breaking her fragrances down like that. Um, she wants you to enjoy them as a whole, as the as the art that they are, and and what to do whatever they do to you in terms of your emotions and, and things like that. So, um, but go and have a watch of her video and, and learn a bit more about all of these fragrances. This smells. This might be the magnolia one doesn't smell rosy so it's not the rose one there's a magnolia and incense one <laughs> and it could be this I definitely smell a floral but I smell something animalic and again that it wouldn't be an animalic ingredient so it could come from an indole or something like that I don't know and um, for those that don't know white florals tend to have a lot of white florals will have indoles which kind of um give them a slightly funky some would say almost fecal dirty element to them is it that maybe but it's this definitely has some animal animalism to it if i didn't know that tion doesn't work with things like castorium and civet i would be guessing there was some civet in here it's not, it doesn't smell exactly like civet, but it's quite, it's quite an animalic note to it. It's a floral animalic incense. I think this is probably the magnolia incense. It definitely smells incensey and floral and a bit dirty. It's nice though. It's really nice. I'm looking forward to trying it on skin. I will try all of these on skin. I'm just going to let them. I'll smell them on the peanuts first and then we will try them on skin. So that was Nui. Definitely a like. It's not quite my usual thing. Maybe because it's not quite as sweet as I normally go. But it's, it's sexy, interesting and I like it. And we will go next with Flower of Life. Ah, oh, this is the rose one. Flower of Life. This is the rose one. I remember that now. So let's go. <laughs> these are such a treat honestly smelling Tion's fragrances is such a treat they are not what you are used to if you only go perfume smelling in the designer realms or in the mass market realms then you will never have smelled anything like these and I always I always say I don't wear Tion fragrances every day because I don't celebrate Christmas every day I don't eat a Christmas dinner every day they are that special that I personally don't wear them every day because I feel like I would spoil myself too much because they're so rich so this is not as voluptuously rosy as I expected it's a bit it's kind of like a fresh I think this I think there's another floral in here. It's almost fizzy. It's fresh. It's fresh rosy, but it smells like there's a white floral in here at the same time and it smells like there's a, a touch of citrus in here. It's a little yeah, it's a little bit fizzy. It's really pretty. It's so pretty. It's like a really fresh pretty rose with a hint of a white floral, a hint of a lemoniness really really nice okay we'll pop that one over here i'll come back to them all in a second but let's just get them the first sniff done next one is called magdala 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 this is the myrrh one i can't remember anything else except that it's a, it's a couple of very special um different types of myrrh they are artisanally uh created sort of harvested and then however they extract or, or however they get the myrrh into a scent form by 
some uh, you've got two different tribes of women from two different areas and then there's a master distiller um, so yeah but that's all I remember I don't remember what else is in here and it's nice it's almost tobacco like and there's a freshness so and there's a slight green tinge just a touch it's, it's really nice it's very grounding that's probably the myrrh that gives it gives it that sort of like grounded incense -y, and it's a bit woody but there is a sweetness it's a nice sweetness can't tell you where that's coming from could be, could be something like a tonka some sort or some other sweet resin really really nice and I feel like there's a flower in here as well there's an exotic white flower but with this um, yeah grounding sweet resiny feel and a freshness and it's very uplifting Oh, I like that. I wasn't exp I, w I thought this was going to be quite dark. And it might go that it might go dark, but at the moment it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. So that that is Magdala. Magdala, Magdala. I'm not quite sure, but I think you know. Right. Now the last one I was expecting to like the most because I know that it is an a floral amber. It's a floral amber fragrance. It's called Ama a-M-A, -A. you see those little accents above the A's, Ama, Ama. So I think we'll just put that one straight onto skin because we know. We'll come up here, we know we're gonna like it. I feel like there's something there. I don't, I haven't sprayed anything there today. We'll go, on, we'll go here, right. Ama, this is the floral amber. So I'm expecting something along the lines of honey amber. But I, oops, sorry. <laughs> I can't remember what's in it. Ooh. It's kind of, it is honey-ish. It's reminding me a little bit of sacred ground nectar, which I've just sprayed. But it's not, no, no, it's not. But it, it's in that, it's in that ballpark though. Honey, floral... Yeah, it's lovely. Um, lots of, it feels like lots of white florals. I can't remember what florals are in here. Um, a tiny bit of an animalic tone, which again could be an indolic element to the florals. Honeyed, a bit like the honeyed, Ness of sacred ground, a little deep, syrupy, a little bit, a little bit green. Definitely some of that Tion amber, beautiful amazingness going on. Really lovely, a bitter tone to it at the same time. So there's sweet and bitter going on simultaneously. This is, it feels like it could be an amalgamation, um, a mixture of honey amber, embers, sacred ground, Polynesia, all of that. It feels like all of those. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous stuff. It might be a little bit similar to some that I already have. So... I might, I might rather run out of one of my floral ambers from Tion before I would buy this, but it is stunning. It's absolutely stunning. So that is Ama, that's the floral amber. And are we done? I think we're done, we've done all four. One, two, three, four, we have done all four. So I'm gonna re-sniff Sacred Ground Nectar because that's the one that's on the back of my hand here. Yeah, that's mellowed out now. It definitely reminds me of 
embers a little bit. It's got that really balmy, smooth, vanilla-y feel, like really smooth and very pale in colour. I can feel Sacred Ground is here, but it feels lighter, less intense, more floral, a little more uplifting. Really, 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 really happy with that. Love it, absolutely love it. It's, it's kind of gourmandy, it's, it's so good, it's so good. So very, very happy with my purchase there. Let's pop that down here. And now we're gonna go, I think we're gonna smell, uh, ooh, we're gonna smell Nui again. Definitely dirty. Oh, it's like, um, it's a bit like an incense shop. Right, we're gonna go up here on the skin. This is a little different. I don't have anything like this from Tion. And I quite like it, I do. It's 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 a woody, incensey floral. So it's really got that mysterious, darker feel, a darker incense, like incense in a really dark wooden box. <laughs> um and this, when you first spray it, quite an animalic tone to it. That's almost, actually reminds me of an animalic ingredient called Hyrax, Hyracium, which is the, um, the poo of, is it the poo of a particular cat-like animal? If you know Bo, Bo Gwe's May, and if you know uh, Papillon Salome, they have this hyrax in them. And of course there's zoologist hyrax, but I don't think there's a real hyrax in there. I'm not sure. But hyrax is, to me, smells almost barbecue meat-like. And I feel like I'm getting something similar to that here. It's not as intense, but there is something a bit like hyrax in here. To me, I know that I don't like hyrax, yet it's subtle enough and blended so beautifully with this clean white floral uh, i think this is the magnolia one so magnolia is to me magnolia smells like a soapy non-exotic non-heady white floral kind of creamy in a body lotion way so yeah i smell this clean floral mixing with a lot of incense floral incense like a uh, nag champa um nag i think champ champaca 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 is a magnolia i think so maybe it's kind of like nag champa no that's jasmine though isn't it i don't I, i'm getting mixed up here but to me it's like smelling like floral incense intensely floral incense in a really dark wooden box with a little bit of a naughty, dirty, animalic touch. Really interesting. I can't wait to give all these proper full wearings. Really, really interesting. So that one is Nui. We'll go back to Flower of Life here. Flower of Life. That's got more intense. The rosiness is really intensified and now it is more of that voluptuous rose that I was expecting. Still has a freshness. Still has that mystique that Tion seems to put into everything she does. So we go in on skin here with Flower of Life. Here we go. <sighs> Definitely needs to settle, it's kind of like, whoa! It's, it's almost fruity. It's the rosy, the, there's a lot of roses in here from reading the Instagram post about it. There's quite a few different rose oils in here, absolutes and essences and, and whatnots, um, different varieties of rose. 
it's almost got a fruitiness about it but it's not like a thick jammy like super sweet rose it's it's a lighter rose very very pretty I feel a touch of an exotic flower in here as well I know I'm not sure if there's just like a hint of a white floral in here but the rose is the main player for sure and yeah it feels a little lemony just a touch but all blending together so mostly rose with a little touch of like a lemony sharpness almost fizzy and then something almost pink fruity and then a touch of some resin or something that just adds that to your own special magic thing it's not exactly incense but it's you know something like or maybe unlit incense on this occasion like a lighter unlit incense at the base really nice like wow amazing nice rose lovers you need to try this uh thinking of rose fragrances from tion i've tried before pink lotus is quite rosy i'd say that's less exotic smelling um less i don't know it's not that similar to pink lotus um and rose potion as well I prefer this out of those three roses. This is probably my favourite. Now I definitely get fruitiness to it. Fruity and fizzy and oh it's lovely. It's so nice. So flower of life. I really like that. I like that a lot. And then we're gonna talk about Magdala. God, I have to find somewhere to spray it. Magdala, Magdala smells like slightly citrusy resins. Let's spray it somewhere on my skin. Okay, we're gonna go in here. I am going to go to bed smelling so wonderful. Mm, it's a gingery, it's a gingery peppery freshness, like a spicy freshness. I didn't really pick up on that on the peanut, on the packing peanut, but I get it in, immediately on skin. Reminds me a little bit of Wildy Eye, which is another, I think it's a myrrh fragrance as well. But it's not the same. Oh, it's so interesting. It smells like lightning. It smells almost electric, lightning, mineral, peppery, nutmeggy, um, ground, ground resins, like a bit powdery. Also a touch earthy, like a like natural dusty earth. Really nice. It's different. It's different. Makes me think of charcoal. It's not too dark. It's definitely a lightness as well. It's, it's a something that makes me think of of something sort of lemony fresh, but it's all mixed in with different dark powders, spicy resin powders, dust, earth, very natural. I can just imagine like if you said this is, if you gave me a bowl of dark dirt and said this dirt has been found in this really special sacred place. It's been scraped up from 
the altar of a church that dates back 5,000 years and it's maybe like incense and spices and it's all old and it's dirt that's what it smells like to me it smells ancient and interesting and like it has so many stories to tell but it is a tea own fragrance so it does have a prettiness it definitely has mysticism and it's really really good it definitely has it does feel like it has a I don't think there's florals in here I'm not sure but it feels like it has a, a floral element to it still um but it's so grounded it's so earthy and spicy and resiny and and mystic it's mystical really 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 amazing fragrances we're talking about here yes so back to amar i was trying to remember where i sprayed it back to amar it's a gorgeous ambery floral I f it feels to me like a mixture of honey amber embers and sacred ground so for me despite the fact that it's absolutely stunning I wouldn't need to buy it because I feel like I've got that covered already in the fragrances I already own from Tion. But if you haven't ventured into Tion's white floral ambers, so far Arma is is getting big, big thumbs up. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got all the components of all of those beautiful uh, floral ambers that Tion creates. It's different, but it's um, but it's familiar and it's gorgeous. That is it. I am done. Uh, 33 minutes <laughs> long this video. I thank you for sticking by me. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you wanted to support me, you can do so on Ko-fi. I'll put the link below. And if you've tried any of these fragrances, let me know what you think in the comments below. And I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.